The final flashing for this window involves a few more pieces of tape. We'll leave the sill open still so that we have that available drainage. We'll have a piece of tape on each side and a couple across the head. Let me show you what that looks like. Because of our integrated flange, we want to make sure that our tape turns from the wall and then the flange onto the edge of the window, protecting that joint between the flange and the window. I'll start by working in some small sections to make sure that I'm both in the location that I want on the WRB and on the window. Again, I'm pushing it in place with my hand. That way I can seat the tape where I want and I'm not relying on the placement of my roller to hold the tape where I want. Next, where the tape transitions from being on the edge of the window to needing to lay flat, I'll make a simple cut here and one at the top. I like to roll that piece of tape in, get it completely seated before I move on to the next piece of tape. That way I don't miss anything in my process. Same thing on the second side. We're ensuring that the transition from our WRB to the edge of our window is covered and is one continuous surface. Now that we have our sides flashed, it's time to move on to our head. Again, this is a couple pieces of tape. We have a vertical seam simulated on our mock-up here. What we're going to do is we'll peel this tape back, fold it to the side. We'll apply one run of tape, the same as we did on the sides, so that we're flashing from the WRB to the edge of the window, past the flange joint. And then we'll come back and we'll add a second one that's a little wider and a little higher. And then we'll be able to fold this back over the top and everything will shingle as if it were a roof. We're going to take this first run past whatever horizontal we have. That way we're completing our, our taping a little further out each time. The opposite of the verticals, we're going to cut that a little bit so that we can lay it flat. And we're going to continue to work this flat and down onto the top of the window, bridging from the WRB past the nailing fin and onto the edge of the window. Now this piece of tape I'll just seat with my hand. The next piece will roll both at the same time. So we're going to get a little wider and a little higher with each pass. We can seat that tape one more time and finalize its install with the roller. We're making sure we get on both sides of the window. Now we're ready to bring this head flashing tape back down. Just like the horizontal, it gets rolled in place as well. Now that that vertical seam is rolled, it's attached to our head flashing and down our sides, we're completely managed for water. If we wanted to, we could add a head flashing, and that head flashing would be taped horizontally with the vertical legs sitting over top of it, just like we have here. We're not going to install a head flashing on this mock-up. Now, let's go inside and talk about air sealing.